What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Balance Perception, Perception YouTube channel. And today we are back with a brand new printer. Um, this thing is massive. It's gonna be the largest printer I have. We're gonna go ahead, set it up, do our first print on it. Um, I have mentioned several times that I have a 3D printer problem. I currently have four running right now. This right here will be the fifth. I have another one downstairs I need to set up, which will be my sixth, and another one on the way, which will be my seventh. So, you know, I just went ahead and decided it's better to embrace my problem than it is to quit, because then you have a problem, you know, you have an addiction and you're a quitter. It's better to just have one problem than it's better to have two, so I'll just stick with my addiction. Anyways though, let's go ahead, unbox this, set it up, get it going. Okay, so what we have here is our CR10 S5. I have heard um, mixed things about this printer. It has a huge, and I mean absolutely huge build volume. And that's comparing that to, once again, my Ender and my CR10s. Um, I have heard that it's kind of difficult to level, especially if you don't use auto leveling. But since I have never used auto leveling, I won't know any better. I've always manually leveled my bed. So we're gonna go ahead and check this beast of a printer out see what comes in the box all of that so let's do that uh, boom, boom. there we go so as you guys can see absolutely massive taking this off boom. Uh, oh crap almost just placed that onto a print bed that is currently going that would have been bad so let's go ahead and cut this open. And this right here, wait, this is the glass bed for this sucker. Enormous. Um, let's just go ahead and take it out. Uh, I guess that's something for, I don't know, shipping purposes. I don't know what that is. Um, come on, come on out. Wait, let's see if we can get it out. Come on. Don't want to tear this whole thing up because it's a lot easier to clean up when you don't do that. So this is the glass bed for it. As you guys can see, enormous. That's the build volume. I'm gonna set that there to the side. And as you can see, this is the machine. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. We're gonna go ahead, take out the base. Uh, try to take it out, there we go. Yep. Okay, come on. Yep, that's what we got there. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the table. One second. So as you guys can see, it is now on the table. Whoops. Camera moved, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead, grab our glass plate, load it up here also. So, yes, oh God, I can't even imagine what we're gonna create with this thing. It's enormous like I knew the build volume and everything but just actually getting a hold of it crazy so on to the next piece okay so moving that out the way we have everything else let's see we have this box here just like the CR10s I'm assuming it's got like tools and uh, cables stuff like that and maybe like a roll of filament um it's got some blue I think it's like yeah like lines it it's used to line the Printer. I'm not really 100% sure the CR10s, excuse me, did not come with this, so I don't know. I'm gonna see about that. Yeah, your PTFE tubing, which I have tons of because I have CR10s. We've got the handle, which basically holds our filament, the bolts and everything, which get it onto there. Uh, some other screws. This comes in every kit. I'm accustomed to that, accustomed to this. The masking tape, probably for, um, um, getting it to adhere. I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be for. Some filaments, some clips. Yep, basically all the stuff and glue stick. Yeah, they're assuming you're gonna have a lot of problems with this, so they went ahead and gave me a glue stick. Well, anyways, let's just get this over to the side. Then we have the control box in here, like so. Lots and lots of cables for that. That's gonna be fun. And then we have the gantry, the extruder, all of that on this 
massive frame. <laughs> so that's basically all there is to the box itself. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick time lapse of me assembling this. Let's hop to it. Okay guys, so finally got this set up. I had to take everything apart and switch out the table because that last table was too small and I couldn't print, put the printer sideways because the control box here would not reach all of the axis as well. So that was one thing. Another thing I already tell we're gonna have to switch out the gears because I can't turn it manually the way I can in my uh, CR10s, that's another thing. And then the support rods I bought, which go here, will not fit. You have to tap the inside of this hole to make it larger for the screws to fit. So we're already started off on a few, uh, I don't know, problems, but that's all right. We're still hoping for the best. I loaded my filament in. I haven't even turned on the machine yet and I haven't put on the glass bed. So here we go. We're gonna turn on the machine and let's see if everything goes well and we don't have power. And we don't have power because I didn't plug it in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Um, there we go. So now it's plugged in, let's try that again. Also, if you have one of these, remember 115 volts, you have to flick the little red switch on the side of it to that. And so now we have power awesome sauce that's good uh everything's loading up everything looks like i'm accustomed to so prepare we're gonna go ahead and preheat pla and everything's gonna heat up i'm gonna put the glass bed on we're gonna get the bed level and then try for our first print so see you guys in a second Okay guys, so it's been a little over an hour. Uh, let me just tell you what's been going on. I started up the printer, couldn't get it to basically auto home correctly. The Z right stepper motor for the Z axis was grinding. It was making like this grrr sound. And if you guys get one of these printers or if you've worked on printers before, you know that sound. It's basically like the, the motor is trying to engage, but I don't know, maybe it's not. Or basically this motor on the left side was taking all the work and this one was just coming along for the ride. So then I was like, all right, let me replace the motor because I had, you know, spares. The coupler here was really hard to get loose. The Z-Rod just refused to come out. But eventually I got it to come out and we are in business. Now, as you guys saw, it just auto home perfectly. So now we're gonna go ahead and heat up the bed. The bed does take a while on this printer to heat up because it is so large. Um, then we're going to go ahead and try to level it and get our first print going. So that's what we got going on now. I do see why they now say that this is not a first, you know, like if you're for your first printer, 
you should not get one of these because when I set up my Ender as my very first printer, no troubles. I assembled it right out the box, didn't know what I was doing, didn't level, I mean, I leveled the bed as best as I could, you know, as I knew how to then print it and nothing was wrong. This one took a little bit of like uh, user experience. So yeah, if you get one of these, I recommend just knowing your stuff because if you did not know exactly what that was and how to fix it it could have been a pain in the ass so anyways that's my uh speech for this printer so anyways heat in the bed we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can level it and get our first print Okay, so it has been leveled, I hope. Auto bed leveling has completed. It's time to load the micro SD card and see what we get on our very first print. Our first print is gonna be a five hour print. Um, hopefully it comes out fine because the item that I'm printing here is actually something that someone ordered in my Etsy store. Of course I have backups printing just in case, but hopefully this one will turn out well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm going to see if I can capture all five hours of it printing and then I will see you guys in five hours. So let's hop to it. Okay guys, so we are back with our CR10 S5 and let me tell you, um, this thing has been a bit of a challenge to say the least. Um, it's actually been about two days now that I've been tinkering with this thing and I'll specifically tell you what happened. So right now it actually has a uh, filament jam that I need to clear. That's not that big of a deal for me, I know how to work on that. The biggest problem I was having was getting it to correctly, uh, basically print. Every time I was auto homing, no trouble. The BL touch would come down, hit the glass plate, everything would be good. But whenever I went to print, my Z offset was off and it was really, really off. The extruder would crash down into the bed, like smack into the bed. And after the first time I did, I was nervous it would start breaking the bread. So every time I did a print, I would see how far it got and see if it's gonna keep going. Then I shut off the machine to make sure that it didn't slam into my um, glass bed and damage the extruder and all that stuff. So after two days, I, well, I finally figured out that it was my Z offsets because it was whatever. I checked the BL touch. I ended up opening up the box itself, moving around some parts. I did everything only to find out that basically my Z offset settings were off, but it's always like that, you know, it's usually like something simple. Anyways though, we did finally get it printing and this was the first print I got on it. So the bottom layer went down, no problems. The top layer, ugh, it got the jam on there. And as you guys can see, I had to cancel this print because, you know, it's currently jammed. And so after that print, I got this print. Much, much better, you guys can see in comparison. Much better, so we're good to go here. But then I tried another print and I got another jam. And so basically, my bed is not level. And I'm not accustomed to leveling a bed this large, so it's just gonna take some practice. Um, I'm currently printing a dial gauge holder so that I can check the levels, you know, actually quantify them. So hopefully that will help, but I have a lot of faith. Um, once I also swap out this table, I ordered another table, I will hopefully get a better table that's not like moving and wobbling. Not sure if that really makes a difference, but we will see. But anyway, I am, you know, I digress. I'm pretty happy so far with this printer. I'm really looking forward to making something really, really massive. You know, just like 3D printing something. It takes up like the majority of this build volume, like, you know, something starting with I don't even freaking know, like a Gundam's leg or something like that. Optimus Prime's leg, Bender's leg. You know, those were all actually robots. I don't know, maybe everything with robots. But anyways, that is where we stand. So currently, I do like this printer. I was able to get it to print. Few modifications I need to make. Yes, if you get one, I almost forgot about that. I am gonna switch this out with a micro Swiss drive. That's what I have on my other printers. I don't like the stock one. I, I think they're absolute shit, but you know, just my personal recommendation. I always get a micro Swiss drive on it. And then I need to get some braces that come down here, but I was reading online that the ones you order, you have to get a tap. I'm not sure if it comes with one, but to make the holes larger. So anyways, that's the future plan. Definitely looked to see this printer way more in the future because I have some really big things I'm gonna print and I want to print. So long story short, we successfully set this up and we're able to get prints and I look forward to the mini prints that it makes in the future. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode, checking my new printer. I actually have two CR10s that came in that I need to set up that I've been lazy and haven't gotten around to and probably won't get to until next week because I have some orders to fulfill. And the printers always have a mind on their own. Like the one over here you guys can't see. For some reason, it just was doing its own thing. Had to restart the print three or four times on the fourth time without changing any settings. It was good to go, so I don't know. Anyway, so thank you guys again for checking out this episode. As always, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay boundless. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>